Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Hi everyone. I'm in Walgreens. If you follow my channel, you can probably think of what I'm looking for. If that website isn't bullshitting me, it'll be here. I can take this off my list. I've never seen her in stores, ever. And no, what I'm looking for is not here. They got these Rise of the Teenies Mutant Ninja Turtles. Two of them. I remember this guy being $10. He is $15 now. Let me put all these toys back. So I was looking for a Fantastic Four thing that's a Walgreens exclusive. The website said they had like three or four. I'm not saying that. Never believe the website. Always call. Yeah, I got here too early. They just got the truck, so. I can't wait around because I'm trying to see Transformers, the animated movie, in theaters. But today is the only time they're going to do that. And I have a story. If I pop up later for the toy hunt, I'll tell that story later. So, look what I see in Best Buy. The story that I was going to tell y'all is back in 1990, I mean, 1986, when a Transformers the movie was released. My, I was staying at my grandmother's house, who was all the way in East Baltimore. Well, my mom came to, with her boyfriend at the time to come take me to the movies. And we caught the bus because she wasn't driving. And we rode on that bus for like at least two hours because it's from East Baltimore all the way to Westview Mall which is beyond West Baltimore into the county we get in there and she get up to the ticket person and they're like it's sold out I'm eight years old I'm like what what the heck does sold out mean so we, we can't see it I'm like so we can't just wait for a little bit later no, it's just sold out. So I'm like, wait, we leaving? What the, what the hell was going And I never saw the movie in theaters. I had to live off of people's experiences of what they saw in the movie and go off of what they were telling me to be the truth, which half of it was fiction. But look what they got here. Full disclosure, I picked up her. So I'm gonna have to do a review on that they have Ultron I'm sure they're in the wrong place it says aim soldiers which I don't see right here to your Ultrons for 24 uh, Malekith black bar Killmonger and the Serpent Society dude so it took two and a half years for me to see that movie when it came on regular TV they split the movie up into individual half hour episodes so I had to wake up at 6 a.m. every weekend and one weekend I missed so I'll be happy to finally get this off my bucket list and say that I can, I've seen it and get that part of my life over with I guess these are the only amiibo until Smash Brothers comes out. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, yeah. Extra Zero is here, I believe. So let me let him know I'm up here. I got here way later than I wanted to. Holy moly, is that real? Look at all them Nintendo classics. Nintendo Labo and freaking switches. Are those real? I forgot to mention that I'm in 
good old Rundle Mills. I haven't been here in forever since I stopped working around here. I'm gonna have to rush through these stores because the movie starts in a half hour. Here is this stuff right here. I'm gonna imagine. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. For $5, I don't know. Ah. I keep forgetting that I want to sell my Star Wars people. Ah, but I still get excited to see stuff cheap. Cheap things are awesome. Look at this hammer. Yeah. You know what I hate about toy hunts? Like, since I put that out there, if I decided to come back later, people are going to know those figures are there, and they're probably going to buy all of them. Ooh. How much are these dudes? I have Fangry. Um, I still need, what is his name? Is his name Ram Horn? Good old Mega Blocks Turtles, or Mega Constructs. Nah, they're Mega Blocks. It's like a stylized side swipe. Let me hurry up, grab some junk food or something. The countdown is real, and I got 14, no, 16 more minutes, so. <sighs> Should I risk TJ Maxx? The only thing I hate about TJ Maxx is if you get in a line, forget it. The lines are nuts. But it looks like they've expanded their toy section. I think I'm in the wrong section. I don't see action figures. Where are you, action figures? If they have any. Well, maybe they didn't expand, they just put it in the middle of the aisle. <sighs> All these stores. You know what? I, I've been thinking people faithfully buy WWE. Maybe they just go to the clearance stores sooner than <laughs> other figures. Yeah, I just think they changed what section this stuff is in. They ain't got crap. Let me get out of here. This. This is the fourth store I've been in that's had a leak in it. 14 more minutes. I forgot how long this mall is. I'm just getting to the food court. Holy moly. Normal malls are double layered with more floors and whatnot. This one is just stretched out. But the mall looks, I mean, well, the food court, I mean, looks nice. Way better than the last time I was out here. Look at Sabaros if you can actually see that. My camera has a tough time filming glares. 11 minutes and I haven't been in FYE that's coming up. If Disney store is up here, I ain't gonna have time. Zero showed me a preview of some stuff up here. At least I think this was a store. Oh, look at this. $25 higher than GameStop. And she has the same paint smudge. That's the one I saw. Look at this. That's blue paint on her stomach. Before you throw your um, money out there, oh, look, the Hardy Boys. How much is this? $40. Uh, that's about right. Why are they charging so much for um, Chucky? How much is Chucky? It's hard to grab that. They have the Voltron set up there. Damn, why 
already is twenty freaking five dollars. Shit. But I got these. Skinny He-Man and Skinny Skeletor. And all these other monster dudes. Buy two, get one, 75% off. Yay. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's killing me that this stuff is $25 and I just can't do it. I just, I, I just can't. I'm, I'm not at a freaking convention. Those are freaking convention prices. That's GameStop price. No, she's cheaper on Amazon. Yeah, they, they make me sick. Uh, this is why I toy hunt at freaking home recently. It's easy to get cheap prices online. That's ridiculous. Now, these are a, a decent price, even though they're old and should be on clearance. I bet you this is a damn $100. 80 Might as well be. This is cool right here. Somebody had Deadpool back here. Maybe they didn't have space, but. <sighs> Let me go to this movie. Maybe I'll go to Disney Store and GameStop after I get out of the movie. I don't know. Thought I was gonna miss him, but Zero's here. Hey, how's it going? And his girlfriend, Alexis. Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> but, um, I should sure remember that because it's the same name as the Amazon lady. But. Yeah, you ever want to get her started? Yeah. The Amazon. I should remember it's the same name as the Amazon lady. Oh. But we're about to go and see the movie. Here we go. Well, I finally seen it, and my mom can be off the hook. I finally seen Transformers the movie in a theater. Thank goodness. Books a million is just like Barnes and Noble. Let's see what's in there. I'm gonna GameStop and Disney Store too. I'd been in this store a hundred times, not knowing that they had real action figures towards the middle of the store. That made me so mad. Jesus, it's a big mountain of freaking Funko Pops. Like seeing them spread out like this is nuts. But I'll leave that to you. Oh. Jetta, Josh, freaking Cincy. Oh, look at these. Meh, maybe I will show these. Let me shut up. Foxy, all of them collect freaking Funko Pops, but, oh man, they have everybody, except, who's missing? The Yellow Ranger. That's weird that the Yellow Ranger is the one missing. See, when you're looking for Pops with me, you gotta sit through what I wanna see, and that's it, that's all I wanna see. Oh, too bad these are last year's Marvel Legends. I like this guy. I think he was on my top 10. I'm not sure. Sheesh. Last year ain't the word. Some of these I feel like came out. Yeah, he was like two years ago. Oh, look at these. Freaking ran. We're stimpy. There he is. They got this guy. They got Power Rangers. They got NECA. Diamond Select. Sonic like the Hedgehog. Oh boy. 
it's a good time to be a toy collector. Especially if you got money. Which is making it a bad time for me right now. <laughs> oh boy. Life. I wonder. Will it take me under? You're too slow. I don't know. They have a rack. I never used to come all the way back this far. They have a rack of toys. This looks like the Pokemon section. I never did beat Pokemon Sun and Moon. I need to turn my notifications off. Yeah. I bet that's freaking plastic attic. Ooh, they even got freaking rescue bots. This is better than Barnes and Noble. Holy shit. Happy for me, nobody's back here, so I can talk loud. They got kids' toys, girl stuff, everything. Well, you know what? That's probably the figure action. Let me, let me see what they want and go to Disney store. GameStop. This is actually fun. Shit. I miss being able to come out here. I'm not seeing too many collectibles, to be honest. Oh, they're in this corner over here. I don't know where Marvel Legends are. If there are any. I'm gonna just go to GameStop, I mean Disney Store. Now we enter the Disney Store. And to let y'all know, I always do this. They have Good ass prices in the Disney store. These big ass dolls for freaking $16. Like, if you need something for Christmas, come to the freaking Disney store. This stuff is cheap as crap. Like in Toys R Us, this probably would have been like $60. I bet you it's like 20 something in here. Let's see. I, wait, that's the Canadian price. I don't see the American price. That's, that's $37 if it didn't focus. 30 bucks for this big Mr. Incredible. Look at this. I guess it can be Jack that or Mr. Incredible. I don't know. They got fighting puppets. Elastic Girl. This is well painted and probably stretches. She's $25. I wonder if she's actually poseable or does she just stretch? Frozone. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are always a good price in here. Yeah, this is only $30. Around Christmas, I bet you it's going to be $15. And back here, they usually have Marvel. I see Star Wars, Marvel is further up. This stuff is usually on clearance. We get all of them for 14 bucks. These things, but they're horrible. Oh, damn, they look nice now. Still don't have more posability. Well, I think Glenn Webb used to review these. If I'm not mistaken. Holy moly, this face skull. Yeah, they're way better than they used to be. And it's still single jointed knees. And they have die cast on them. Here is the Disney stuff. And I didn't get this one. Here's an unmasked face. And he doesn't have a mask in there, so... Yeah, the paint isn't that great. I didn't even know about this. This is alright. It's an alright likeness. And 
Batman up there. Iron Spider-Man. Yeah, the Marvel selection isn't that big anymore. Comic book Black Panther. $25. Well, this is back here. Oh yeah, these guys. Opposable Mickey. Great. These are better than the ones that are in frickin' Walgreens. How much are they? Thirteen dollars. Oh, look at this. They have some great proportions. Well, some great possibility for their proportions. Millennium Falcon. How much is that? It comes with Han and Lando. I'm not seeing the price. It was 40 bucks. Yeah. Oh, look at a little Ewok. So... Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video all the way to this point. I'm happy I got to see Transformers in theaters. And I can knock that off of the bucket list. But, see, look at these dolls over here. $12. If you got a daughter, holy crap. I think I paid 15 or $20 for these things. The details are so crazy and they're posable. We now venture into the evil Walmart. We're in their clearance section, but will they have any good toys? I seriously doubt it. And looks like I was right. Oh, wait a minute. These are in the wrong place. I've never seen these in poison, but now I have that slipstream. Slipstream is a girl, even though she looks just like Starscream repainted. With no feminine stuff added. Oh, if only she had elbow joints. Oh, they have Optimus. Oh yeah, these don't transform. They do that half transform crap. Blah. There was a man on the other side of the aisle looking at me like I was a lunatic. If only he knew that I am. It looks like they changed the toy section around here. Hmm, let's see what we can see. Let's start with WWE, just because it rhymes. Oh. They got these guys. And these guys. And... There's supposed to be a movie Bumblebee over here. Oh, uh, Lockdown. Was this my first time seeing Lockdown in store? I always see stuff after somebody sends it to me. I see this chick. There's even more in the back. Um, where is the little Bumblebee? Not him. Where are they? Where is it? Oh, wait, wait, here he is, here he is. No, that's not the one I want. Ah. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. No, no, no. Here it is. Shit. Damn it. That was an emotional roller coaster right there. What else they got? But it looks like I got the last um, Bumblebee movie one. There's small, tiny Marvel Legends section. <sighs> Is this really freaking $15? 
Well, let me let me ring that up because I might get him. Oh wait, here we go. I'm somehow doubting that that figure is supposed to be um friggin. Oh wait, wait. It would be awesome if they had a Mysterio hiding back here. I somehow doubt that that will happen. Uh, Frickin' Gwenpool, they have damn like nine of them. Awesome. Awesome for you, Gwenpool. Let me see if I can ring this up. Let me pick up this bumblebee before somebody snatch it. You know what? I might get Optimus because he has. It looks like. No, he doesn't have knees. Never mind. It looks like he has an ab crunch, though. Oh, why do they always steal away some piece of articulation? Nice. Let me look at Barricade. Barricade has knees, but he doesn't have elbows. But they're less than $5, so yeah. What do you expect? I expect the masterpiece, even for $5. I'm greedy. Update on this guy's price, it's regular price. Online it's like a dollar and 50 cents cheaper. I swear before I start recording, my phone isn't going off, it's like they know. Yeah, totally skip these guys, cause, yeah, yeah. Oh, Star Screamer found the new Harley Quinn. And um, he put the review on the Figure Action channel. Link in my description. Okay, I'm back home. And throughout my whole adventure today, you know what brought me a real sense of joy? Finding this at McDonald's. I've been wanting this for months when I first saw it on uh, tformers.com, like that they were gonna be having McDonald's toys, Transformers, but. Isn't that like the cutest ever? Only sucky thing is, yeah, that. Seems like he only walks a couple steps and then stops. When I turn this knob, it like clicks really quickly. Well, let me let me try to do this again. Like right there, it sounds like you should stop. But I guess you should keep spinning it. Sometimes it feels like if you let it walk. You can keep turning it. There we go. So let, let's see if I can make it do better. There we are. Unfortunately, he doesn't have like a little cannon. And I can't get the stupid camera to focus on him. It, it likes these guys in the background better than him. But there he is. This is what he looks like. And here is that Igniter's Bumblebee. He's the exact same height as the original Bumblebee right there. Isn't that nice? He has a bend at the knee, but when you bend the knee, you see these things right here. And yeah. These joints are tight as crap. They gave him the little, like, three millimeter holes. But they didn't give him one of those Legion's class size guns. And the head doesn't rotate, so. Besides the little feet here, there is no other articulation. Oh yeah, and the hips. They can do that. And this. There's no other articulation. Here's what the back looks like. Transforming it is easy. Lift that up. Lift this up. Lift this up. And go ahead and flip in it's kind of difficult to get them back out and rotate this it's kind of odd or weird that this little block thing or this part of the car stays in that space or place and bring that down if you're lucky this little thing should go into that groove in it buttocks and here you are you have a beetle Getting this, the legs to line up is difficult. I don't know, getting that to line up. It rolls, it has this 
igniter's port. I don't know whether when you put that little cube thing that comes with the bigger figures on it, I don't know whether it makes them roll or what. It might help if I read the instructions. But well, this is just impromptu and in the middle of my toy hunt. So if you want a full review, ask me for it later and, and maybe I'll give it to you. Here he is next to this B right there. But I hope y'all enjoy this toy hunt and this little mini chill review. Because I enjoyed filming all of that. And I enjoyed being at Arundel Mills again been a long time and seeing all those toys were were really that was really fun regardless of the fact that they cost a crap ton of money way more than they should and like I said I do have this if you want to see me winning with a Marvel Legends but there you are that she comes with head full anywho thank y'all for watching this until next time do what the man is about to say right now videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos